First, we set up the Sending app. Select the app from the drop-down list or use the search bar. I will use Trello for our example. Then we specify an event. When this happens, we send the data. Now we need to provide connection to our Trello account. Click the Add a connection button. Set the name for your connection. Rental data access. The authorization window opened. Click the Allow button. Connection has been created. Now you can select your board from the list. The first step is completed. Click the Continue button. Next, set up the receiving app. Select the app from the drop-down list or use the search bar. I will use Google Sheets in our example. Then we specify the action to perform in the receiving app. Then we should provide access to our Google Sheets account. Click the Add a Connection button. Set the name for your connection. Grant all data access. Select your account and click the Allow button. The connection has been created. Now you can specify the spreadsheets and the sheets of your spreadsheets. The second step is completed. Click the Continue button. Now we match the columns of the spreadsheets with the information we want to transfer. Click the field and the drop-down list will appear. Select any information you want to transfer. And click the Continue button. Now set up the duplicate search setting. Select Do not check for duplicates, always create a record. And click the Continue button. Our automation is ready. You can start it now. This is the way how the automation works. We move the card from one list to another and check the data that has been transferred. Here it is.